Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So the video you've all been waiting for, the December recap where I'm going to show you all my trades, all the profits, all the losses. We're going to log into my TraderView.com account and we're going to look at everything I had going on for the month. So let's roll the disclaimer. I'm just a guy trading stocks. Don't take my advice. Just sharing my experience so that it might help you guys with problem solving through becoming a day trader. All right, so TraderView.com. I want to start with this. TraderView.com is an amazing platform for logging all of your trades. It's super simple to upload your trades to, and then based on the pricing plan you choose, you can carve up the data in any way you like. I highly recommend getting a TraderView account. And the beautiful thing is, if you want to support the channel, drop down into the description, click the link for TraderView, and it'll help support the channel. So when you sign up for a paid account, the channel gets a little bit of a payment every month. I really appreciate it, so thank you very much for that. So let's dive into TraderView. I'm gonna show you how powerful this is and how amazing it is to use. So when you come to TraderView.com, and that's TraderView with a V-U-E, not V-I-E-W, and you look in here, this is kind of the main page. I'm logged in, so you're gonna have these selections up here. You're gonna have a dashboard, you're gonna have an area where you can go journal, you're gonna be able to view your trades in a list, you're gonna have a reports view, you're gonna be able to import your trades, and I think what I wanna to do to start off is let's just show you how you import your trades real quick, and then I'll jump into how, um, how I made the $4,372, show you all the trades and profits there. But if we go to import trades, what you do here, and I'm gonna move myself out of the way, is you basically just come in here and select what trading platform you're using. It's super easy. So if you click anything you're using, um, I think uh, if you're using T4, you select that. Uh, Merrill Edge, you select that. Whatever you want. I use Thinkorswim right now, so I have that selected. Now all you're gonna do is you're gonna click choose a file, and you're gonna select the file that you downloaded from Thinkorswim in order to upload it to TraderView. And you're thinking, oh no, how do I how do I upload? Well, I'm going to show you that right now. So I've got Thinkorswim loaded up. I'm going to pop that open. So what you do is you come over to your monitor tab. And one thing you want to make sure you do is make sure that if you traded AMD, you have AMD selected. Go to monitor. And then when you're in this tab, you want to make sure that you have account statement selected. I could select activities and positions. I could select FX reports. You want to make sure that you don't select these and that you go ahead and you just select account statement. From here, you come over to this little hamburger icon. You're going to open that up and you just go to export to file. And then it'll allow you to name the file whatever you want. It's a .csv, which is a comma separated value file and you're basically just gonna choose where you want it to land. I like to do it on the desktop, just makes it easy, and then you just click Save. What that'll do is it'll put that file on to your desktop, and then from there, you can log out or quit Thinkorswim and come back over here, and you're basically gonna choose that file and upload it. After you upload it, it's gonna take you to this view, which is your Basically, your trades view where it lists all of your trades, okay? Once you're here, it'll show you that you can refresh it, and it'll show your new trade, and you're ready to go. Now, one thing that's beautiful about this is that you can tag your trades with whatever you want. So this helps with your metrics. You're going to see that in just a second when we dive into the numbers. But you're going to see that I tag things with bullish. I tag it that it's AMD. I tag my R level. 300 R. Now if I go to detail here, how you do this is you just say edit tags and then you can add whatever tag you want. Like so let's say AMD isn't in there. I want to add AMD. I can just type in AMD. Now if I've already used the tag, it'll pre-populate. I can click that and say add. So AMD is there. Then you just click save and then you can go back to your trades view and it's gonna show you all your tags. So I tag things because I wanna be able to filter my data by, like for example, I track all my trades that I make on Wednesdays. So I can filter by Wednesday trade tag, and it'll tell me my win loss rates 
just on Wednesdays that I'm tracking. Now, you can track that another way in the system. I'm going to show that to you. But I like to just kind of tag things up with, with some of that stuff, whether it was a bearish trade or a bullish trade, what my R value was, maybe uh, what my stop loss currently was on this trade. So you can add any tags you want, which makes it super, super clean to use. All right, so I won't continue on with any more of this right now. Let's dive into numbers. Let me show you how the month went. So when you're in Trader View and you're on your Trades View tab, you want to come over to Reports. Click this, and this is basically, and I'm going to come all the way up here to get out of the way. This is basically going to show you everything you want to see about your trades. Now, what they do is they run it by 30 days, 60 days, and 90 days going back. So if I click 60 days, it'll show 60 days back. And given that this is just being filtered by one month, 30 days will cover it. So let's look at how to do that. If you go into date entry range, I just filtered by December 1st through December 31st and then clicked filter. And that basically just refreshes everything and condenses it down to one month. So the overview tab right here, what you're gonna see is your gross daily P&L. Blue bars mean win days, red bars mean a losing day. So it's just showing you where you were day in and day out for the month. Then if you come over here, you get a nice line graph. Shows you where you started on the month and how things went. Now you can see for me for this month, I topped out at a positive $6,184.70. And then I went on this downhill roller coaster called the holidays and ended up finishing $4,372 profit for the month of December. And I'm really happy because this has been a progression. And I think a lot of you know that I've been focusing on increasing my R values each month. And I started at originally at $10. I ended up at $25 and then $50 and then $75. And so I've worked my way up to the point now where I'm trading a $300 R for the month of December. And if you don't know what R values are or how to implement that in your trading plan, I'm going to pop a video right here. Check that one out and then come back over and and you'll have a better understanding what that is. But what we've got here is the line graph, then you get daily volume. This is gonna tell you how many shares you've been trading. So anytime you jump in for a thousand shares and then you exit those thousand shares, they count that as 2,000. So just so you remember that. But this basically shows all my trading days. Any single bar means I only took one trade on that day. Any double bar, means I took two trades on the day. Many of you know I either take one or two trades every single day at the open. That's my only day trade, and that's what these markets, that's what this TraderView account is following. So after that, one thing I like to do is I like to come in here and look at the calendar. This will show you every month, but what it does is it gives you kind of a nice visual representation. So here's December for me. So you can see I had a five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I had an 11 day green streak in December that was amazing and felt like it was never gonna end, of course, until it did. And then I had this streak of red days. But if you can look at this and get an idea of how your month went, but then you can also click into it. And once you click into it, you can see specifically how, not only how many trades you took, but you can also see your profits, your overall profits, your, um, your net. So here, one trade lost 290. Two trades ended up up 353. So you can see basically all this stuff, how it played out, whether you were red or green, and you can just come in on a month. If you wanted to switch to another month, you would just click it. And if we had September included, this would populate as well. But I have it just filtered for December. So $4,372. There's the calendar. Now I'm coming to the year month day. This tab's really cool because you can just have a quick glance at things. You can say, how's my year going? How's my month going? And what you can do is come down here and see the month, and you can see it here. It tells you $4,372. The scale automatically adjusts, but it's nice because if you include all your months, you can kind of see the progression of, you know, am I trending in the up direction or am I trending in the down direction? You can kind of look at all that uh, at a glance here. And then if you really want to get specific, you can jump into the weeks. You can see that I had one, two, three green weeks and two red weeks. So you can carve data up that way as well. 
From here, you can click the Recent tab and come up here to Detail. And when you're on detail, this is kind of a nice place to go as well because this gives you some nice metrics with regards to knowing exactly how much you've made. You can see your largest gainer. You can see your largest loser. And the cool thing is if you want to see your largest gain, you want to click show, it'll actually show you this tab again. But if you scroll down, you can see, you can actually make these larger, but it will show you exactly where you got in and where you exited and then it allows you to change the time frame. I trade the 15 minute time frame, so I want to filter it that way. So I can zoom in, and I can kind of see exactly what's going on. I can see my entry, and I can see my exit. So it's nice to get a visual on it as well, and that's for every trade. If I go to the trades view, and let's just pick a random trade. So I've got here with all my tags, you can see closed P&L, number of shares, and the date. If I scroll down, same thing shows up. I've got my charts, I can take a look at them. And you can change the time frame. Whatever you wanna do, you can kinda of carve up the data and, and look at your entries. If you wanna drop down to the one minute to get really, really specific, you can do that as well. You can see some bouncing around entries and exits. So it's just really nice to be able to look at it in that form. Now, once you're on your reports view again, I just wanna show you that if you come over to the detailed, you get these additional tabs, and these are really exciting, helpful tags or tabs to, to select from because you can look at how you do on any given day of the week. So right here, I made $85 on Mondays in December. Thursdays were my most profitable days. On Thursdays, total, I made $1,589. So you can really carve these up, and then if you wanna get really specific, Say you've got a year's worth of data logged, I can click Thursday and it's gonna filter only by Thursdays. So you can basically dive into every day of the week, you can dive into specific weeks, specific months, you can really carve the data up and look at how things happen even hour by day. You can go by 15 minute chunks, you can go 30 minutes, how did you do during the month? And you can also look at your performance based on intraday trades versus multi-day. So if I were doing swing trades as well, I'd have some information down here as well, but I do all my trading intraday. Now, if I drop down even further, it gets even crazier. Performance by intraday duration. I can see how I did in trades that lasted one to two minutes. I made $1,400. Any trade that was under a minute this month, I lost $1,800. So it was like that quick wick up and slam down. If I was in a trade for 10 to 20 minutes, I made $452. So you can see how, how useful this can be to look at your data and get a really, really good bird's eye view of what your trades are like, where your strengths are. And what's nice about this is you can modify your trading plan or trading management style based on the metrics that you're starting to see. Now, if you're looking in here, you can see total number of trades I took right here. I took 30 trades total in the month of December, and you can see that I won 53.3% of the time, and I lost 46.7% of the time. It tells me my average holding times, and then the one thing I wanted to point out, which is very interesting, is this average position MAE and average position MFE. So what these are, the F stands for favorable, and the A stands for adverse. So these are favorable excursions and adverse excursions. So what I wanna show you is that the average excursion during my trade shows that I reached $451 profit at some point during my trade on average. Now, the other thing is, on average, I showed minus $204 for the adverse excursion. So it tells you where you were in movement within the trade. So if you're starting to see something show up where you're losing a lot, but for some reason you're always getting to $500 profit, you might wanna modify your target because you might be able to drastically increase your win rate if you take profits maybe 
just below $500 or right at $500 because you're typically hitting that level. So it can be a way to inform your trades and a way to shape and mold your plan moving forward. And I really, really appreciate that about TraderView. Now, if you go to plans and pricing, you're gonna see what you can select from. And, and I really like this, and this is how I got involved with TraderView was I started with a free plan and you get, and tr you get 100 trades per month. You can journal, you can share your trades with others if you want. Um, they have a little bit of a social component to it. But I very quickly moved to the silver plan because you get unlimited trades and you get all these other options. If I go back to my report view, and I look at some of this stuff, like if I get into like say this tab, or actually let's do this tab, win loss days. This tells you overall how you do on your days, like not trade by trade, this, this is day by day. You don't get this option if you have a free account. They, they restrict the amount of data carving you can do based on your plan. So what I recommend and for me right now is I'm at this level, the silver level, 29 bucks a month, I can log as many trades as I want and I can carve up all the data. Now if you're really into data and you want to dive super deep, you can go to 49 a month and get the gold plan and you get all kinds of, of crazy analytics and analysis that come into play. So I'm considering this one soon enough because it does talk about risk analytics. Um, you can then look at your R values and you can do a lot more um, with, with honing your management style. And I think that maybe after this month, I might move to this plan. But free is a good place to start if you just want to play with it. But if you do want to log some trades and even go back and log old trades, you can log old trades from, from uh, Thinkorswim or any platform. You just go to that date and download the file and upload it. So say you have you know 100 trades that you've taken and you want to put them in here, you just go back, get the historical data in the CSV file, put it into TraderView, it'll carve all your metrics up, and then put you on the path to trading as an informed trader, not going by your bias or your thoughts or your feelings, really looking at the data and understanding what it's telling you. So this has been an amazing month. I'm really excited because I've seen some things go really well and I've seen myself clean up some of the bad areas that I've been sort of struggling with. I think that a review of myself was that my mental game this month was really on point. I didn't break my plan on, on any trades this month, which is really the first month that I haven't broken. I think you remember there's a video, I think in November, where I broke down on a trade. I took profit early and it kept moving without me. Um, I'm really be getting better at not doing that. So that's really exciting as well. But I love TraderView, I love how it carves up the data, and this was just an amazing month. I will take $4,372 on one to two trades a day for the month of December, and I can look at this 6184, the peak of my month, and that can be a goal. You know, that's that'll be exciting someday to hopefully surpass. But try not to get too frustrated with the ebb and flow. It's not always up, it's not always down, it's sort of give and take. And over time, if you can keep this profit curve moving in the right direction, this will just get more and more exciting as um, making day trading your full-time work. So I hope this video was really helpful. If you have any questions about TraderView, let me know. I'm going to put the link in the description. Use that link to sign up and that it'll give a kickback to the channel, which will really help and I really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't joined our private Facebook group, there's a link in the banner of the YouTube channel or you can jump down in the description and there's also a link there. Come join us. I think there are 200 now exactly. People trading and sharing trading ideas. Love to just talk the markets. We'd love to have you guys join us. So $4,372 for the month of December. Super excited. Thank you for stopping by and we'll see you tomorrow.